Hello, I'm Jacob Lewis, and today I'm going to show you how to create negative space lettering in Illustrator, like what you see here. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to go off to the side here, and I'm going to create my initials. I'm going to make this larger, and I'm going to hit Command-Shift-O to outline. Now I'm going to hit A grab the direct select tool and change this A to white. Now I'm going to grab the corners of this O and move it back to connect with the J. And now I'm going to hold command shift and do left bracket to move it back. Actually it's not working. Let's just do arrange send to back there we go I had more than I wanted selected okay so now we have a basic design there and it's almost there I'm just gonna pull this in to right here and I'm gonna make this come in a little closer here And that's really basically what we're going for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this and I'm going to hit the merge button here in Pathfinder. Now I can delete these extra lines. You got to be careful not to delete anything you don't want to delete. I just want just want this. Oh, oh, I see what's going on. So if you'll notice, if we move this off the stage, we have the white from the A there. So I'm just going to select that and delete it. Now that's what we're going for. If I press D, it'll go to the default colors, so now it's white on black. It has a black outline, but we can get rid of that by hitting X and then forward slash. So there it is, white on black or dark color, and then we could do um, invert it or make it any color, really. We could make it red. And then all I did for the other one was put a box behind it. So just draw like this. We're going to send it to the back and I could choose a box color and there you go. You have your negative space lettering and how easy was that? You can get more elaborate with some lettering so let's say the letters were SPE. I don't know what that is but Let's just say that's what it is. And maybe expanding those and dragging the E across, it doesn't get the result we want with the P. Well, maybe we come in here. Let's turn this P white. And let's come in here with the pen tool and start at the top of this S. Actually, we'll start over here and come over here to the top of the S, follow it down to the bottom, and then we're going to come over here and bring it up and connect it. Okay. So we've got this. Now we want to bring this E in closer. Okay. So we've got that. I mean, there's a lot of ways we could go with this. We could bring this in closer.
and then we can add another point here and here and drag this down to here and for this we can bring uh, bring this we can add another point here drag this down and then once we drag this E in yeah there's so much you can do but basically if I were to use the pathfinder now to connect all this and get rid of the white we're left with this which isn't good let's back up let's back up even more I kind of liked it before I moved the E in with this going all the way across let's go ahead and merge that and delete the P let's make sure the P goes over the edge before we merge it so I'm going to undo I'm just going to click on this scale it up and now I'm going to merge it and delete that and that's a much better example there's a lot of different things you can do with this technique so play around and hope you got something out of this until next time i'm jacob lewis check out my portfolio at bluelotusmedia.com and have a great day thanks